All right, guys. So today we're going to take a look at the Eco OH-10S or the Sapphire Mirage IEMs. Now the OH-10, the original OH-10s has been basically my favorite IEM since it's come out. If you've watched any of my videos, I always reference those IEMs because they were just tuned in a way that it felt like it was specifically for me. Now, this isn't one of those like over the top, superly expensive IEMs that gets into like the thousands of dollars, but the OH-10S is basically taking the OH-10s and making just the right moves to improve upon it and still keep it in that really affordable price range because the original OH-10s come in at $199. But the OH-10S, which is the pair that we're going to check out today, comes in at only $219. So it's only a $20 difference over the original OH-10s. And I definitely feel like the improvements that they've made have warranted that price. And it makes a huge difference in this pair over the originals, which we'll talk about. Uh, we'll talk about the sound. We'll talk about what all comes inside the box and still see why I think this is the IEM to beat, at least when it comes to my sound preference in the world of IEMs. So as far as the drivers, they are keeping the same Knowles 33518 balanced armature drivers, uh, but they've upgraded from just a normal 10 millimeter dynamic driver to a 10 millimeter dual magnetic titanium coated dynamic driver. Now what this is doing is it's adding uh, a lot more to the low end, which the original OH10s didn't even need, uh, but we'll talk about this a little bit more once we get into the sound. Now they're also using an advanced crossover circuit and basically this is just to get more detail out of the sound. This is just the way that they're wiring and doing everything inside uh, the IEMs themselves. And speaking of the inside, the design of the OH-10S is different from the OH-10s because now they're using a photochromic glass so you can see through them and you can see the circuitry on the outside. But what's cool about this is if you're going to be out in sunlight, that clear look kind of transforms into a blue transparent look. So uh, it does kind of morph depending on what lighting you're around, which I think is kind of cool. The rest of the body of the IEM, it's made from a copper alloy uh, and they're using a PVD coating. Now this IEM does have some weight to it. The same thing as the OH-10. This isn't one of those you pick up and you're like, oh, this is a very light pair. It does have some weight, so make sure that you have not only the right ear tips on there, but make sure the ear hooks uh, are pulling just to kind of suspend some of that weight so if you're moving around and things like that they're not going to feel like they're going to fall out if you don't have the right ear tip in these will move around but speaking of the ear tips uh, you do get six sets of ear tips in the box there's basically two different styles uh, and it does affect the sound quality one kind of leans a little bit more towards a tighter bass and the other one kind of has a looser bass kind of giving you that subwoofer type feel so make sure that you not only get the right fit but you kind of check both of these to see which one fits the sound that you like better now they've also included a flat like leather like case uh, this is basically so that you could throw them in a case and not get them all scratched up i do like the fact that they went with a flat one instead of the larger hard cases we've seen with other iems because this fits in your pocket a little bit easier now, as far as the cable on these, they've definitely upgraded here over the OH-10s. It is a nice thicker cable. It has more flexibility. It is very comfortable and it does use the two pin connection, which is kind of common with most IEMs anyway. But on the other end, it's using a normal three and a half millimeter regular plug-in. There's no quarter inch adapter included in here, which I would have liked to have seen because this is definitely one of those pairs uh, that you would plug into an amp or plug into a home theater system, uh, which is going to normally use that quarter inch plug-in. Now speaking of plugging them into an amp, now the impedance level on this pair is 18 ohms. It's extremely easy to drive as far as from a volume standpoint. It doesn't take much to get loud volume out of these, but if you really want to take advantage of all of the different frequencies, you really want to get the most out of your bass, your mids, and your treble, I highly, highly recommend an amp and it doesn't have to be some overpowering amp but it needs to be something just enough so that you can boost these and really take advantage of what these are capable of because from a sound standpoint this can easily be one of the heaviest when it comes to bass and also the brightest when it comes to treble this is a very in your face im it's not trying to be flat it's not trying to be reference style it's the furthest thing from that this is tuned in a way to be in your face 
but at the same time have a lot of space in the sound. That's, I think that's what really stood out about the original OH-10s. Uh, I didn't expect the low end that those had, and the OH-10S honestly takes it a step further. I feel like you can get more of that subwoofer type bass out of the OH-10S, and I don't know if it's because of the newer driver that they've decided to use, but you can tell a difference in the low end. But the other huge advantage is it does not affect the mids and the treble. The mids sound absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, like the OH-10s, it does a really good job of picking up male and female vocalists and making them stand just right up front. No matter what genre you're listening to, this pair sounds fantastic when it goes from like something simple like pop and hip hop and then moves over to metal. Uh, it can easily keep up but still give you that feeling of bass uh, where a lot of IEMs just kind of drop off. This is where a lot of IEMs start to get congested or muddy and this pair can just handle it all and still keep up but doesn't feel like it has to pull back to be able to keep up. If you've ever noticed with some earbuds or IEMs, uh, if you start to listen to something chaotic, you can kind of tell that the bass will die down some or it'll pull back on the vocalist or the brightness of the treble because the bass starts to get a little too powerful uh, and because these are using multiple drivers so it's allowing that dynamic driver to handle the low end on its own and allowing the balanced armature drivers to handle the mids and the treble all of that's kind of separated and I think this goes back to the crossover circuit that they're using where you're not getting distortion and you're not getting it where one thing is starting to affect the other so from a sound standpoint it already took what was my favorite IEM and just made it better without having to feel like it needed to dial anything back it felt like it's giving you more bass and more treble and it's more in your face uh, while still allowing these to sound very open it definitely sounds like you're in a really large room and it does an excellent job of being able to tell where different sounds are coming from. So if I'm going to grade these into the different genres or different things that you would use these for, if you listen to pop or hip hop, this easily gets a 10 because there's really, again, not many IEMs that have the low end that these do. Uh, but even listening to rock and metal, I gave them a 10 here because of their ability to still keep up with how fast everything can be, but also deliver that punch when it comes to the drums. I mean, guitars sound incredible with this pair when it comes to easy listening I did give them a nine here and that's because you know I've tried a lot of IEMs and I have come across some that does a little bit better job of representing vocals in a way that makes them stand out a little bit more so and that's the only reason I didn't give them a 10 here but when it comes to media this is a fantastic pair for media because that bass allows you to feel explosions but the mids that these have allow you to always be able to hear dialogue and the treble being as bright as it is means you're not really lacking when it comes to details so my overall rating on these is a solid 10. This is the first time I'm giving any product a 10. So I think that in itself says a lot about what these are capable of. Now I know it probably sounds like a sponsored video. This isn't sponsored. They didn't pay me anything. They just sent these out just like any other company. But it's just one of those that stands out and just blew me away from the first second that I started using these. So really the only negatives that I found with these is, yes, I definitely wish that they came with a quarter inch adapter. Uh, that way it just gives you the flexibility to go from you know one device to the next, uh, especially if you're going to be using an amp or again plugging it into a home theater system. Uh, I just like that they include these things with the products you're buying that can be used in this way. Uh, so do know you're not getting that. And then I do feel like the weight of these might be slightly heavy for some people, especially if you can't get the right fit with the ear tip and it feels like it's moving around a little bit. I can feel that being a nuisance for some people, but luckily I didn't have this issue. And then again, from a sound standpoint, I think this is one of the best out there. Is this going to be for audio files looking for that flatter sound? Definitely not. This, this isn't checking that box at all. This indeed is the furthest thing from that. This is for people that just like to listen to music for fun, but still want to hear all of the details and they like to feel bass. It's not really made like some other IEMs and I think that's what makes these 
stand out. And IEMs are like my favorite way to listen to music uh, because I think a wired connection is always going to be better than wireless. And this checks off the box having the exact tuning that I like. So the Eco OH-10S probably comes with my highest recommendation. But guys, that wraps up my video on the brand new Eco OH-10S or Sapphire Mirage IEMs. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.